Welcome at Pass 23 at, on stage. Uh, I'm here with uh, Lukas Miroslav to discuss, to know, to hear, to hear about your mini symposium. So, Lukas, can you tell us about your mini symposium? Uh, yes, uh, our mini symposium uh, was focused on no uh, novel uh, capabilities in um, specifically material science uh, by leveraging some uh, functionalities of the uh, public cloud, uh, like such as uh, reproducibility, such as infrastructure as a code, uh, such as uh, 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 low latency, high, high, mem high uh, bandwidth network, uh, and a variety of uh, compute resources and storage and perform high performance storage. So, after the presentations and the discussions, what was your, uh, what were the conclusions of the mini symposium? What is the whole uh, take-home message? So the, um, we invited uh, our partners and, and uh, also uh, uh, customers, such such from Novartis, from uh, Molecular Modeling Laboratory, of from Porsche Institute, uh, from EMPA, and also from Azure Quantum Team, where they presented the uh, let's say latest results from a joint projects, all the many times spanning over many many years, um, and um, and we demonstrated some uh, breakthrough capabilities, breakthrough achievements. Uh, so, so, so the first state, uh, let's say, uh, take out message is that it is possible to do cutting edge uh, research, such as, uh, let's say, drug design, development of the uh, drugs in amorphous form uh, by using the uh, different mix of polymers and API, uh, uh, and also, let's say, predicting a solubility limit that are of primary importance for uh, for the for the drug formulator formulation teams. Uh, we we some presented some research on workflow automation uh, with AIDA, where uh, on the example of uh, nanostructures, carbon-based nanostructures, as well as uh, examples uh, from reactivity, ex exploration of reactivity, uh, to really show that it is possible to reduce the effort to, to combine different tools with each other, to reduce the effort of, uh, of uh, um, uh, designing the infrastructure, uh, because everything is pre-configured, pre uh, uh, and uh, also predefined for the specific use case. And this way, the, the research teams can really focus on doing the, the research. That was the key message. So what are the next steps then after the conference is over? So what are you going to do after this? So, so right now we will uh, conclude some of the uh, some of the research with the publications. Uh, we, we, that, uh, we also will continue to let's say leverage high fidelity models and maybe uh, let's say increasing the complexity of the workflows. Um, and by our recent uh, announcement of Azure Quantum Elements, which is a new service on Azure for material science specifically, we will try to expand the variety of use cases that we support and invite more uh, more uh, R&D teams to to work with us. So what inspired you to participate to this PASS conference? So PASS conference is a, gr a great place uh, to, to meet uh, uh, people from different uh, scientific domains and this is my I think fourth or fifth times I, I st stopped counting uh, where we uh, where I really made uh, great connections with uh, uh, different teams and uh, also leveraging the uh, let's say uh, my uh, the, the the local connections because I'm based in Zurich so, so it's a great place to meet uh, people from uh, from Switzerland but also from from European research centers and the uh, US and Asia as well thank you very much uh, Lukas and uh, thank you all thank you very much